Hello and welcome to my video. This video will hopefully get you an, a better FPS in Armour 3. Now what we're going to do first is go to Armour 3 in Steam, right click it, go down to Properties, left click it, go to Set Launch Options, now click that, left click. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get this code which will be underneath the video and you're going to copy and paste that into the the launch options then then click OK no sorry before you click OK you're gonna to have to alter where well, you're gonna to have to decide what CPU you've got so if you've got a i7 you're gonna put CPU count is 4 now that means you've got 4 cores the amount of threads you've got, if you've got an i7, you're going to put uh, eight cores, sorry, eight threads in there, and not four. And you're going to leave leave that as that as it is. And you're going to put the amount of memory. So if you've got, a, if you're running eight gig of RAM on your system, you're going to put six one four four. You're going to leave two gig two gigabytes short of what your system is actually running so if you've got 12 gig of RAM you're gonna put 10 gig of RAM in here so if you want to know what 1 gig of RAM is it's 1024 1024 is 1 gig of RAM so you're gonna to have to multiply that by 10 if you've got 12 gigabytes of RAM in there hope that makes sense then you're gonna put the no pause in there, the no splash, and the world empty as it is. You don't have to make any changes. So I'll go over that again. So CPU count is, if you've got an i5 now, for example, you're going to put four cores in there. For the threads on an i5, you're going to put four threads. If you've got eight gigabyte of RAM, you're going to put six one four four gigabytes of RAM in there and the rest you're going to leave as it is now for AMD owners you'll have to click the link below and have a look in there to see what you need to adjust for for those CPUs I, I haven't looked into that so I don't know okay so once you've got that and you've you've altered your amount of cores altered your amount of threads and your memory you're going to paste that into there and click OK then that's it it's done you're going to get a better frame you're going to get a better frame rate hopefully in uh, armor 3 now the next thing i'm going to show you is if you go to local files browse your local files this has sometimes helped uh, a smoother frame rate what you're going to do is not go into your local files um, here in like your missions and uh, what have you in armor 3 you're going to go to um, probably you probably find it'll be in your C drive yeah your primary drive anyway you'll go to users C then users then whatever your name is in your on your PC mine's Charlie so I go to that then you go to my documents then armor 3 then there'll be a CG a CFG file here what you're going to do is open that up if it doesn't open up you're just going to have to open right click and open with open with and you'll use notepad so you've opened that up then what you'll do oh hang on what you'll do is scroll down and you'll find GPU max frames ahead you're going to set that whatever that is at the moment change it and put one in there and the GPU detected frames ahead you're going to remove that 
whatever that is in there I can't remember it might be a thousand or something you're gonna just put one in there so they're both gonna have a one setting and then you're gonna go to file and save it and close it okay so this part of the FP uh, the FPS performance tutorial finished there's one one major thing that I want to show you in in game which will it will really give you a better FPS in armor 3 if you, you and you may have overlooked it so bear with me for a minute I'll stop the video and I'll be back with you okay so I'm in armor 3 and the section I'd like to show you is the video section and the main thing I'm looking at here is the visibility now I found the best setting for jets as low as I could take it really realistically uh, was 1500 so try lowering your overall visibility to 1500 the object visibility to 1000 and your shadow to 77 and you should get an overall good frame increase I hope you found this useful and uh, see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now